Hello, welcome. I want to talk about the subconscious mind today and how to rewire it. It's really quite an important thing to be able to learn how to do and can make a big difference in your life. The mind is made of lots of different parts and today I'm just talking about the conscious mind which we have, which we are in the present and the conscious mind. And then the subconscious mind which is also called the unconscious mind and that sits underneath. So we have like the two of them. The conscious mind they think is about 10% of us and many people feel like the unconscious or subconscious mind is about 90% which is really interesting. There have been people who are speaking about the fact that it's like an iceberg and the conscious is like just the top and the rest of the iceberg underneath the water is the subconscious and we can rewire that, we can change what those patterns and those tapes are that are playing in our subconscious mind all the time. We could have been born with these thought patterns and these belief systems and it comes through as we're born into the new soul life. We can also get it from the generational patterns that our parents both have on both sides and their thought patterns. And the other way is that we get it from now, like when we were a child this life and as we we're growing up and what we were told because what a child is told becomes their inner voice. So if they are told they are stupid and uh, told that enough times, that will become their inner voice, which is, of course, the deep subconscious, which always says, I'm stupid, or I am fat, or I am uh, mean, whatever the things are that they're being told when they're growing up. And parents will often say these things without realising the huge impact it's having on that child's mind. It is said that the subconscious, and that's what I'm going to call it when we talk today, the subconscious mind has the kind of way of speaking to, it's like if you're talking to a, a child, it's a very a simplified version of how you would say something to the subconscious, so if you're trying to change it. It's not complicated, it's just a, a statement, it's just a thought pattern, it's a, just a belief. I usually do it in this way. I start by being still and then I step down from 10, 9, 8 and I keep going down till I get into that deep place where you feel like you're a little trancey. You might do that meditation too. Just meditate, meditate till you get into that place where you just feel the energy is different so you're actually on a different vibration. Some people talk about that, the different waves, the brain waves. So you get into that place you feel that you can now talk to your subconscious and you need to feed it the new thoughts. Don't say I am not this, I'm not that. You just need to feed the new thoughts. I am getting healthier and healthier every day. I'm choosing to eat good food. I'm drinking more and more water. I am more and more patient than I used to be. I am free of all my fears. I am calm. I am at peace. I know how to let go of all my stress. So you talk to it like in these little short sentences and you just keep telling it. Because what you're doing is you're over layering on top of the old, I'm fat, I'm ugly, I'm useless, all these things you were told. I'm super stressed, I can't cope. These, these things are running in the back of our head, so to speak, or deep in our consciousness that are actually running you because that's your belief system. What you're trying to do is change that belief system by retraining it with a new one. And the more you keep saying this to yourself, and you can do this even when you're walking around, it's kind of like affirmations, but it's deeper than affirmation. This is like changing your actual body talk and your brain talk, mostly your brain talk, your mind talk, what your mind is telling you, because the mind directs everything. I think it's a really powerful thing to learn to do and to do because we're actually often thinking without saying some of those old patterns. Oh, I'm never going to be able to do it. It's so stressed. You know, I can't cope with this. I'm not good at cooking. I'm really bad at maths. These are all the things that are sitting behind you all the time and then you just fulfill that. Whereas if you change it, my maths is improving, my cooking's much, much better. I'm a good cook. I can cook many good things. I'm good at exercise. I'm good at tidying up my house. I'm good at housekeeping. Whatever it is, you know what the things are. And I suggest that you write a list of them with a new 
wording. If you have been having trouble losing weight, it's, it wouldn't be, oh, I can never lose weight, never ever do it, I'm always overeating, I can't do it. That's the old pattern that's playing in your subconscious. You change it with, I'm good at losing weight, I know how to eat properly, I know how to design a meal plans, I can lose weight and get to my ideal weight, I'm able to do this when I'm stressed, I don't eat now. Whatever the things are that will help you to lose the weight, you have to look at all the things that you're working at. You have to change those things and then your tapes in your subconscious, which is actually running you, are different and then that will download into your behaviours changing. Now your behaviours are going to be hard to change sometimes and you might have to do some work to have the new thoughts, the new beliefs and now the new behaviours. So as soon as you fall into the old behaviours, what I used to call it was like old Wendy, oh that old Wendy did that, old Wendy said that, then I'd recognise it and then new Wendy would come in and overlayer it and change the behaviour or the response or the reaction because that's what you're trying to change, you're trying to change both things what you think and what you do, those two together. And it's very good to align them because it's no good thinking it and then just doing the opposite. It's not good to follow through. It will take a while to change things, but just keep working at it. I keep saying it to myself because in a weird way, if I'm just sitting looking out the window and having a break from doing my books or doing the podcast, I just look out there and I say something that is a positive, Thing that I want to play in the back of my head in my subconscious and I just say it very simply over and over again. The hypnosis one I find good for me. You might have some other things that you find good for you, whatever your modality is that. However, it's about having one, the intention to change the old patterns and then to run a new pattern. And there's no good getting rid of just the old pattern without really trying to run a new pattern you want to replace it it's like replacing it we can't help what people have said to us we can't help what happened when we were at school and was said to us or how we were talked to when we were out socially even as adults we can't change that because that's happened to us but we can change what we let in and what we don't let in and what we replace and that's what I want you to do is to start rewiring your subconscious so that you're now saying good things about yourself and then you will live to that and you'll behave like that. Everything pretty much is within our reach, what we can do, as long as we're realistic with it. It's really quite a powerful thing to do as well because if you learn how to do this, you can actually talk to other people and teach them how to do it. Because sharing information is really important down here and therefore someone who has addictions or problems with things it's because they believe they can't do it and they're a loser and they always you know go back but if they change their base pattern the tape that's actually running inside of them then they will have more success and even if they fail sometimes it's okay you just go back and keep doing it this week's thing is to rewire your subconscious and start doing it when you're walking is good, I think. If you're walking and you just say things to yourself. If you're the, I do it in the shower sometimes. I do it when I'm just sitting, standing there waiting for the potatoes to boil. I do it in all the different places as well as my deep self-hypnosis place and my meditation because I feel that the more I keep saying those things, the more it imprints and downloads. Because it was downloading previously from your conscious mind because it was in your, your presence, like when you were at school and the teacher was telling you you were bad at maths or something. That was told to you in a conscious place and it downloaded. The other ones that didn't download were the ones that you brought in from your past lives. They would have come in with you, your belief systems. And those, those are ones that will be, I think, actually deeper and things that will be, you'll have to really work at those ones to change them. I feel that we can change ourselves, we can reinvent ourselves, we're fluid energetically and that's the other thing that energetically these statements we're making in our subconscious that are negative are a negative energy and by releasing them and replacing them with positive statements 
we have more positive energy. And with more positive energy in our aura, it's going to be a more positive us and a more positive world around us. And we influence people in a more positive way. You can actually hear, if you listen to people who are negative, you'll actually hear them saying what's happening in their subconscious. Oh, I'll never be able to do it. I'm no, it won't work. Um, I'm no good at drawing. No one will want to hire me. That is actually, they're verbalizing what's deep in their psyche, deep down in their subconscious. They're not just whinging sometimes. It sounds like it, I know, but basically they're telling you and they're the tapes that they want to change. So start listening to what you're saying and what you're thinking and then change them. I think it's a good thing to do. I'm doing it all the time. And I'm still saying things and sometimes and then thinking, oh, goodness gracious, I might have to do some work on that. But we are a working progress, aren't we? Enjoy your week. Good luck with your re wiring your subconscious and don't let in negative things if people say negative things to you think about it hear what they say think is that true or not and if it's not throw it out and if it is then change it and rewire yourself don't let it go in because people are very powerful and particularly when we're young children we're like sponges we just we're being told who we are and what we are and we just believe it and if we're with parents who have been very negative or mean to us, they would have said a lot of bad things which weren't necessarily true. Enjoy your week. Sending you lots of love and lots of light.